Mm. That to happen <laughs> in the old rain Monday morning, uh, 15th, I think. Well, I've done this before, but I don't think it seems to get through to people all that easily, and whether anyone bothers anywhere, I don't know. But anyway, the sign of Jonah, Matthew. Chapter 12, Then some of the Pharisees and teachers of the law said to him, Teacher, we want to see a miraculous sign from you. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a miraculous sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now one greater than Jonah is here, the Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom, and now one greater and Solomon is here. When an evil spirit comes out of a man, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return <coughs> to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that man is worse than the first. That is how it will be with this wicked generation. Amen. Well, you know, what can one say? Bring it on, quite frankly. This spirit thing. On the surface, we the West are all materially sorted. Hmm. Relative, certainly, to the two thirds of the rest of the world. But it's a beautiful red sky here, shepherd's warning. Red sky in the morning. The seven spirits will come. Yeah. People have got all their material needs catered for. Mmm. Yeah. Put God in his box occasionally if he's really lucky on a Sunday. Ha! Rubbish. Utter rubbish. Well, I can see it and sense it and feel it. If I'm stuck here in the West, if I were out in Africa or, I don't know, Brazil or even, working with poor people, that's real, then you don't. But if I'm here in the West, I will speak about this, because I sense it all around me. People thinking that you just are a waste of space, my Lord. Who gives us life? You give us life. It's obvious. And if I'm here to do nothing else, it's just to keep hacking on the same message. pretty unpalatable. I agree. No wonder Jeremiah got stuff. It wasn't very popular. If people are doing something that's wrong, what a surprise. They don't like being told about it. They used to stone poor William and Catherine Booth, all these little girls who were prostitutes in the streets of London, the founders of the Salvation Army. Yeah, but the message got through in the end, didn't it? The hypocrisy of the Victorians, shagging little girls. Mm. I love you, my lord, with all my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my strength.